guys, hello and welcome back to the uh, UDK Advanced series. I'm just I just want to apologize for not making a video recently. Uh, I've just been so overwhelmed with the project that I'm working on, which I'm actually somewhat showing a teaser of at the moment in the background, which is a nice, lovely scene. It's all a work in progress and is still subject to change, which is in uh, to, uh, which is being made by Devin Cherry, my level designer, with my 3D art team. But uh, any any uh, enough of that now. What I want to go over today is prefabs. Prefabs um, allow you to work in a way that is really fast and efficient so I can just uh, basically place meshes down really quickly and simple in groups uh, I'm just gonna demonstrate a basic group which isn't a prefab so bear that in mind uh, and if I just go right click and group actors I can group meshes and move them all around together however that doesn't give me the option to uh, just take these elsewhere rather than just copy and paste. I want to take these into the content browser, into different levels. I want to save this in a package or something. That is really awesome and cool, which we can actually do. So I'm just going to leave these as grouped for now, but uh, I'm not going to save them. So this is still another area of the level that's in progress with time loss at the moment. But uh, what I'm going to do is I've got these wires here and I want to create a prefab for them so that they can easily be reused so you see how there's no wires here and there's wires here I'm basically going to turn these into a prefab put them here and on the opposite side here too so let's just go ahead and uh, change these to a prefab so to do, to do that you right click press create prefab and I'm going to put these into a package called prefab test and I'm going to call this prefab, oh crap, uh, here we go, prefab, uh, I'm going to call this wires, here we go, uh, I can choose here if I want to change these actors into a prefab or not, I'm going to choose no for this, actually I'm going to change, choose yes for the time being, you'll see that I've got the little prefab icon here, you won't see that in game so bear that in mind, but um, here we go. I'm just going to go and go to my content browser and drag this prefab straight in as I did before. I can just put this straight in. I've got uh, exactly how it was before. Sorry about that. And I can just drag this up into place with uh, the behind the monitors like on the opposite side, which is really, really quick, efficient, simple and fast, which is what I really love about prefabs. I can just place these out one use of the transformation tools. I can get them in the right position, and you usually get pretty nice results. I'm not going to take. In, I'm not going to go into too much detail about getting them into the uh, crates exact uh, behind these signs exactly how I want them, but they definitely work for sure. So, what I've done is made another set of prefabs to demonstrate that I can take this into another level. So let's just don't uh, create a new level quickly. Don't worry about the old one, uh, or just save it if you are working on something. Uh, as you can see here in the content browser, I've got my two different lots of prefabs. I've got my prefab crates, and I have my prefab wires. I'm just gonna basically take these crates that I took from another part of that level that that's in uh, progress at the moment. And I'm going to place these down into, uh, I don't know, you could somewhat say it is a maze. I'm just going to use it to demonstrate how you can make a level very, very dense without people even knowing that they are prefabs. So, let's just say I place a whole bunch of these down, rotate it a little bit, no one is going to be the wiser. <sighs> Sorry for the little weird rotation here where it's at an angle, that's just because I've got loads of meshes and they aren't all, uh, ha they don't all have the same pivot point however if they do, you shouldn't have any problems with that and it should all be cool but as you see here, I've just got a whole bunch of prefabs down I've rotated them, I can just go in game and boom, it just looks like a bunch of crates dumped everywhere and what did that take me? Literally 20 seconds to place down and it's really efficient and heck, I can even put these wires in told, uh, wires in as well. I can resize these at that, so I can just make these work around 
my uh, block here that comes by default with UDK. So let's just go ahead and drag these over. I'm not going to worry about perfect scaling at the moment, but you should get the general gist of what I'm trying to emphasize at. And these all have lighting working with them, and you'll get a perfect result when you do. So, that's all I really wanted to cover in this video. I just wanted to show you how you can efficiently and fastly, uh, sorry, efficiently use uh, prefabs in a way that really speeds up your level design in the best possible way and in a way that you can just quickly place down meshes so you can make a level a little more dense and look pretty nice. I know this doesn't look nice but uh, that wasn't my general purpose. But anyway, thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe. I'm sorry for the little changeover to the new channel. However, I do plan to continue videos now that I'm not work that I'm not gonna be so overwhelmed by my project. It's still going on, however I just don't have so much of a workload at the moment. So uh, as I said, uh, I'm gonna continue and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.